Energy vibration um, reading for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Tauruses. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this is the third week of October 2017, and the week begins from the 16th until the 22nd. I want to say to each and every person, thank you for your support, your kindness, and um, I am asking you to go back and listen to the monthly reading to see if there's messages in the third week that you did not ever um, receive in this verse. So we're asking the angels and guides to show us the Taurus what is going to be happening in this week. And this is so weird for you, Tauruses. Whatever is happening, this is so weird for you, Tauruses. Whatever the situation that is happening, it's weird. You have the energy of uh, um, this week. It's the week of uh, the fire energy. This week is the week of the fire energy. And what is happening here in this week is that we have um, a wonderful positive week. So whatever is happening for you, Taurus, is, is going to be positive. Um, but we also have the energy of the zodiac um the hair energies okay your focus or what you should try to develop in yourself it is a, a sort of a, a dream state where you are going to manifest your dreams don't stay in there like um, the energy of the water sign because they 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 live in a fantasy world you can't live in a fantasy world but for this week try doing that so you can um, actually manifest what it is that you need okay so this is wonderful um, you <laughs> it, it's it's amazing what is happening here because you have um, seven days in a week and uh, um, you have uh, um, two cards that is upright so there is definitely something that is happening in this week I, I have changed up the readings because I like to make changes because <laughs> oh, I like to do um, change up things sometimes okay because you have so many reverse cards, I'm going to do something different for your reading. As we look at your weekend, we have the energy vibration of the King of Swords in the reverse form. The King of Swords in the reverse form. This is someone the ages um, of 40 and uh, older, okay? It's in reverse. Whatever the situation is, I like them uh, like him when he's in reverse because he's not coming at you with harsh words this could be someone father or it could be someone husband or that sort of a thing whenever this person is in the reverse form I like them depends because they can be very horrible even when they're in the reverse form actually I like them being standing straight up upright because uh, even if they come at you with dwarfs words when they're in the reverse forms they're nasty okay um sunday we have the energy of the ten of wands it's the end of a burden whatever that was um being a burden to you on sunday it finally finally comes to an end okay so whatever that was uh, being played out and you weren't aware of you are going to realize that on Sunday it finally finally ends so that's why the less you say in this week it's going to be the better for you okay whatever the situation is uh, the less you say in this week uh, is going to be extremely better for you because uh, whatever that has been happening in your life there are going to be changes coming up okay another situation is that a lot of people will be having conversation a lot of people will be in conversation some people um will be in conversation with the pisces the cancers or um the scorpio okay a lot of conversation um can for some people deep conversation while it can be for some people just you know a sort of a wave in conversation whatever that is let's look at your week on monday 
we have the energy of the Angman, which is a water energy. Monday for you, um, um, Taurus, is so you are going to be in a sort of a limbo where you're looking and you're trying to find your inner energy, your light back, okay? And it's going to affect you women, okay? Um, not uh, it's going to mostly affect the women because um, the women seems to be losing their inner light it's as if their energies has been um, you know pulled out of them whatever is happening is as if uh, um, life for them is um, the energy vibration is so so very um, heavy for them so whatever is happening you're going to realize that um, the women are going to it's going to affect the women most of all the men are going to be you know in balance because um, the the um, the masculine energies is going to be taken over because uh, um, your week is a week with lower energies so which that means take it easy <sighs> Tuesday is going to be your best day because you have your own energy vibration which is the energy of the hair event and this is your own energy vibration this is going to be wonderful because um, you're going to feel yourself coming back on Tuesdays and you're going to be because you're always the one that is helping a lot of people what is happening is that you're going to bring a lot of new beginnings for a lot of people um, you're going to bring a lot of new beginnings for a lot of people whatever the situation is uh, you are going to bring um, new beginnings for a lot of people a lot of you are going to be realizing that um, kids are coming in your life and this can be young kids this can be um, people who are actually um, being born crystal children um, or indigo's children um, you know um, soul seed star seed children that will be coming in your life um, organizations are going to be starting to talk about them and to um, let people know that they are here so that sort of a thing and most of you are going to help to bring out that information which is going to be good the crowning of your week you have the energy and the crowning of your week is um, the king of ones in the reverse form you have finally gotten this king of ones in the reverse form this person is uh, uh, Aries and Leo or a Sagittarius and he's finally you have him you have actually balanced now and it's as if uh, you have him removed out of your life and now you are having some balance in your life so this person could be an Aquarius sorry if uh, this person was your father who was passed on to the spirit world it can be also but whoever this person was it was over the age of 40 and this person is you know absolutely this person was really really um you know out of uh, you know was really getting out of hands and finally you bring balance to your life that helps you to bring balance to his also because obviously he was being very uh, you know unbalanced whatever the situation is or was so here we are we're going forward we have the energy of um, temperance another earth energy which is good Thursday is going to be a good day for you guys too this earth energy of temperance is really um, you're not having you're not having balance you're not um, tempering the beast within you and you need to do that you it's, it's as if your energy is out and you need to find that you're going to be receiving invitation these invitation are going to be very good this invitation are going to be um, people inviting you to give speeches and that sort of a thing if that is not the case you'll be connecting with other people and trying to find out why is it you're feeling this way and what is it that you need to do or how you can release yourself of this energy and that sort of a thing whatever the situation is whatever that is going on you're going to find out what is going on and you're going to call in um, the angelical or your um, your animal spirit guides for divine protection and to remove whatever that is covering over you okay as we move forward and this is so beautiful 
you Taurus is the devil is in reverse whatever karmatic things that you have been dealing with has finally come to an end and the devil is in reverse there is no more bondage you have released yourself from the bondage that was happening to you I am so grateful congratulations for doing that however you have done that um, by asking the universe so however you have done that I'm so grateful I'm so happy for you guys that finally you have released yourself out of the bondage and this is why on si on Sunday the end of uh, um, um, troubled waters uh, the end of whatever burden that you were carrying has finally come to an end congratulations as I said on Sunday it's going to be a day of uh, you know this 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 person whoever this king of uh, uh, sword was you finally you know uh, it's going to feel um, get back your health you're finally going to get back your health whatever the health situation was uh, uh, because uh, this tree is always telling us about our health so whatever that was happening you're finally going to regain your inner light and your energy and you're going to start to feel much better somehow this king was um, you know taken was sucking your energy dry and now um, finally you're going to regain your energy and you're going to feel much better on Sunday we have the end of a burden and you are about to travel a new part in your life so what happened is that whatever that was burdensome whatever that was keeping you down whatever that was holding you back you have finally brought an end to it and you're now on a positive new journey ahead so congratulations to you guys that's a wonderful idea um, I changed up the reading okay let's look at love love um, love in this week it's more of a week of uh, you finding your true light within you regaining balance in your life you regaining um, you know um, a place of sanity let's say it like that because it's as if things was out of bounds and now finally they're coming back let's see what the love in angels have for you what the love in angels have for you um let's see what the love in angels have for you and what i can see is that for some people the seven of swords uh, um oppression whatever there was with an organization that was of oppression for you whatever that was um, taking your energy and making you feel as if you know you're so tired and all your energies because we we need to clear our energy our, our auras like every 12 hours or 8 hours so you call upon the angels and guide in the universal angels to clear your your aura and heal your aura call up an archangel metatron to place the orange coat of protection around you and ask him to touch open and activate all of your 12 chakras and call upon your um your inner light your mighty i am present um to place um that spiritual light to flow to you and surround you and to protect you at all times so you need to start doing it every eight hours in a day because this is exactly what is happening and what is playing out for most of you in this week balance is going to come in your life which is going to be very good whatever is happening new kids new people are going to realize that they're they're having kids that there's a lot of kids that is going to be born in this week and um, that you're going to connect to it um, the wheel of fortune is going to be wonderful wheel of fortune is here there's a lot of invitation um, the four of swords a lot of you need to take rests okay um, it's mostly a week of uh, looking within it's finding balance um, so love is learning to love yourself um, in this week whatever is happening is uh, um, you learning to love yourself in this week peace and the wheel of fortune is here a lot of people are going to um, there's a there's going to be a lot of recognition for a lot of people a lot of recognition is coming in 
for a lot of people. So it's not really a week for love, um, to be honest. It's it's more a week of you finding who you are and you trying to love you for who you are. And when we start to love ourselves, then we can love other people. I am working with the wisdom of the Oracle. So this week is really a wisdom week and we're asking the wisdom of the Oracle what messages you have for the Tauruses in this week. And it is yen. Yen. You have the energy of yen in this week. And that is the number two energy. And it's always because you have yin and yin. Yin and yin. And um, it is um, whenever yen comes up, it is um, the feminine principle of receptivity. Um, letting someone else make the first move, gathering information and taking in clues and the art of a conscious uh, um, um, allowing things to flow in this week. So this is a week to just allow things to flow, but yet still look within for um, you know wisdom and guidance and I want to say to each and every person please remember to like share these videos um, please thumbs up likes and share and um, I want to say listen to your Sun moon and rising sign go back and listen to the monthly reading of October the third week because there's sometime message in the third week that is not in this weekly reading namaste until next week